and the white and the blue, the all red for Mongolia is Luke Bayar. 26 years old against 23, an Asian gold medalist matched up against the Mongolian, trying to pick up the country's first medal in Greco-Roman wrestling at these continental championships. What an opportunity to be able to possibly do it here in front of your home crowd. Tense moments for the Mongolian corner. Really enjoyed a lot of the conversations that I've had here the last couple of days with a lot of the locals here in Ulaanbaatar. All so friendly, all very welcoming talking a lot of history of the sport of wrestling in this country, just a lot of the history with well, the country alone, made a trip to Parliament on Saturday, just a gorgeous, gorgeous venue at the big square. Talked about the weather that we've enjoyed, 70 degrees the past couple of days, just stunning here in the capital city. It's known across the globe as the coldest capital in the world. Temperatures get down to some negative marks that you don't want to be outside in during the winter months, but boy, you wouldn't know it the last couple of days here at Olimatar. It's been absolutely stunning. Early point on the passivity and a chance for India to work part here with Kumar, and he is able to get a couple of turns. Kumar goes right to work. Now into a stand-up, and he will get the roll over for two, so a five-nothing lead. Kumar Sunil taking advantage of Parterre. Sunil's a real interesting chart when you look at his rise to the top. Coming through the junior ranks, he really never meddled in any of the U23s, the juniors, the cadets. He found all of his success at the senior level and at these Asian championships. Silver medalist three years ago, won the gold as we talked about in 2020, and now trying to bring home a bronze. So three continental appearances, and possibly three medals for him, all three different shades of color. Trying to tiptoe the passivity zone circle, unable to do so. Luke Bayar steps out. seconds to go here in this first period. There's an energy burst by Sunil. And he is going to give up the point. Good job there by Luke Bayar to come at him. Referee signal one. Did he get white paddle? No point awarded. Looks like it must have. So no step out point given. Stays 5-0. 3 13 and counting in this match. Bailing out of harm's way was Luke Bayar. Felt that arm getting tugged at. Now he looks for a throw near the edge and out of bounds they go. Referee says two and it will get confirmed. And Kumar Sunil in complete control at the end of the first period. Unanswered points, he gets the two. Seven nothing lead and they go to the corners for the adjustments. And Looks like they're going to take another look at this last exchange as well to see if he did indeed get the two. Challenge coming from Mongolia on that last exchange. Period two. Ready to go. Mongolia has come up just short. A couple of their previous bronze medal matches, and now they have a long uphill battle to go to try to come back in this one. It's a very talented wrestler from India. In control right now, 7 to 1. Kumar. Vice clamp hands, working off the arm drag, has the arm near the edge. Not stepping out of bounds though was Luke Bayar. He was able to retreat. His heels were nearly in the protection area. 
gets back into the center of the mat. Snap down, counter with a pretty heavy collar from Luke Bayar. Working hard on the arm, now he goes to the behind area. Gets the two and that will end it. And the bronze to India's Kumar Sunil. Boy, went with that little go behind, took him down for the takedown, and that is going to end it early. Kumar Sunil, and for India, their third bronze medal of the night. They are three for three in the bronze medal matches. His third continental medal, he's won gold, he's won silver, and now a bronze medal. And he denies Mongolia 